Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Matthew Yarnell, your host, a former restaurant entrepreneur, juice and smoothie bar operator, and today we are making some apple cider syrup. You might even be able to hear a little bit of butter sizzling as I have that in our pan here, starting our recipe already that will go nicely with some apple cider pancakes that I also recently made. So if you didn't catch our apple cider pancake video, you'll want to go over and check that out as well. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons too, so you can stay abreast of everything that we're doing here on this channel. So I did already stick in a quarter cup of butter and I'm also going to put in a good half of a cup of apple cider that I made earlier or about three quarters of a cup. So you can play with this a little bit if you want it to be a little bit more liquidy, add a little bit more apple cider or if you want it to be a little bit more thick, add a little bit more apple or a little bit less apple cider, that would work as well. So we do need one apple for this and your apples will vary in size depending upon the type of apple you're using. So you want a good fist sized apple, um, something like this. This is um, just a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna use this one because I took the sticker off earlier and I kind of nicked it and so it's already beginning the oxidation process. So I'm just going to core it with my core here and throw that core away and then I'm just going to cut my apple right on up into my pan here. And you just want small pieces. Personally, I'm going to use a, an immersion blender and make it even more creamy. If you want it to be more chewy, you can leave some of the apples or all of the apples in little chunks. So in addition to the apples, I'm also going to throw in half of a cup of butter, half of a cup of butter, half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to throw that in there, let it get all nice and warm. And then a good half of a teaspoon of pumpkin spice or pumpkin pie spice. Mmm, and I think that the combination of the apple cider and the, and the pumpkin spice just is fantastic. It smells very, very nice. So now, basically all we're doing is waiting on our pot to boil. So that's going to take a few minutes and then you'll boil it for a couple more minutes after that. What we're going to do is finish cutting up our apples here and then I'm going to put in that immersion blender and you'll be able to see it get nice and creamy. And I like doing the immersion blender when it's more cool, but you still want to be careful when you pull it out because you don't want any hot liquid to splash up on you. And there's a pretty good size. You can still see a couple of apple pieces floating around there. And that's a pretty good consistency too. But if you want it to be a little bit more thin, just throw in a little bit more apple cider. Oh, look at this. Our syrup is getting nice and bubbly. It's not going to be too long here now. And we're going to be able to put some over our pancakes. Uh, 
I like bringing it to a good boil, getting all the spices incorporated. Have you made anything with apple cider or apples or pumpkins? Let me know down below. All right? Let me know what you're making. Tell me what you think about this recipe and if you've modified it at all. Mmm. Mmm, this smells very good. All right, so we're going to just take off the syrup from the burner and throw some onto our pancakes here. There we go. And there you have it some apple cider syrup on some apple cider pancakes even, yeah? So, until next time, my friends, I'll be seeing you in the kitchen. Bye-bye.